guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another vlog, another video on the David Hammond YouTube channel. You beautiful people, clearly I am not at home. I am in Steve, Mr. Steve's physiotherapy office, guys. Let's get it going. I drove out 40 minutes to get here because yes, I need to see the man. I need to get Steve to tell you guys essentially what we just did because our powerlifting competition is tomorrow. Okay, so we did chest both sides today and both of his elbows because of the competition. It just happens through wear and tear, you know, David Hammond looks like crazy. <laughs> so <laughs> I beat lifts, myself up. Yeah, exactly. It was yeah. a lot of heavy weight. Yeah, so Steve heals me, guys. We did a little bit of stuff on both chests, uh, both pecs, as you know, and then like Steve said, my elbows, because just from heavy lifting on my push movements, it's just wear and tear. So, yep, very grateful for Steve. Again, this is one day out from the show, which is probably not ideal. This is like what Steve's saying. It's probably not ideal. To yeah, that, I didn't want to push it too hard today. Yeah. But... I would rather something over nothing because every time Steve has worked on me, like I've hit push the next day and it felt fantastic. So fingers crossed all will be well. You can see how red my chest is right there. But with that said, guys, I'm going to go back home now, intro this vlog further into it, tell you guys everything about powerlifting, all the protocols, because yes, like I said, it's literally tomorrow, like no cap. Anyways, with that, Steve, peace. See you, good luck. We'll see you guys. Yeah, fact. Good luck. We'll see you. <laughs> Wish me best luck, bro, so I don't die, okay? We'll see you guys back home. All right, guys, let's get it going. A little bit later, rocking here with 220. Come on, baby. Got back from the physio with Steve. That was actually about a 40-minute drive each way, but it was so worth it. I want that extra mental confidence just going into the show, knowing that I'm flexible and loose enough that I'm going to fire properly. Now, normally, you don't do deep tissue work that early before a show, but I've done it beforehand before testing singles and maxes, and I felt completely fine. So again, fingers crossed. With that said, guys, it is our first meal. I'm prepping up a bunch of chicken, and I literally just have like a cup and a bit of egg whites, a little bit of cheese, some spinach, a little bit of garlic, which I probably didn't even need, and then some carrots with a bit of hummus. The reason for this, guys, is because I am now in the final phase of my diet protocol, losing water weight for the show. Now, I'll be completely honest with you guys. I woke up and I weighed myself just now. By the way, I'm looking very lean, like things are looking good, but guys, I woke up and I weighed in at 185.3 like, or 185.5, which is about two and a half pounds above. I need to be 183, okay? Now this is a little alarming because a few days ago I was literally 183 in the last vlog I showed you guys. I'm not too stressed though because the past two days I was deducting my calories. Today is a really big day to deduct my carbs in particular, as well as my salt intake to just lose the water weight. So my hope is that later today or tomorrow I should have a pretty big whoosh effect, a pretty big flush effect, and just lose that last bit of weight and come in clean. If not, I don't think I can compete, but I'm gonna do it, guys. Like, I'm putting it out there, I'll be fine. I probably am the weight I'm looking at, just I'm holding onto a bit of water. With that said, I'm starving. I didn't eat anything the whole morning. I just had a black coffee. Again, today's a low calorie day. So let's eat up our food. We got some carrots. This is the only carbs I'm gonna be getting uh, this entire day are through vegetables. That's why I have a whole bunch of chicken there. So let's get up a time lapse and then I will intro and show you guys all the new gear I got for our show tomorrow. And let's go. How the hell are you guys doing? Whoa, I am in an outfit I'm about to show you. I actually look badass. This is the entire powerlifting outfit. This is the first time I've tried it on. This is Luke's knee sleeves, singlet, belt. I look fucking sick and it all fits perfectly, which is kind of cool. Anyways, it is a little bit later. I went for a walk after, drank a little bit of green tea, took a bit of a nap or tried to. It is now 4.30. I'm about to go for another walk on the treadmill, guys. So I don't recommend this, but I believe I'm going to be fasting the rest of the day and into the show. Again, I don't recommend this, but guys, I do have the two pounds, two and a half pounds to lose, which primarily is water weight and I am not missing this weight cut. I'm gonna hit it. So I think I'm just not gonna eat anything the rest of the day. I was doing some research, watching some videos and I've fasted guys my body's used to fasting for many hours so it shouldn't be an issue I just had that one meal that you guys saw which was the egg whites and I'm actually feeling okay so yeah I'm gonna take it very easy today but uh anyways let me show you this goddamn outfit boom let's fucking go guys <laughs> take a look at this shit this is awesome so this is the singlet I'm gonna show you down below here I also got the knee sleeves on I literally have I am wearing everything, guys. So, number one, this is the singlet. This is size large. You have to wear this, guys. I know it makes my butt look very, like, <laughs> everything very firm. So they can count your depth. They can really see very articulately, like, are you hitting proper form, etc., etc. It also keeps things very compact. So, again, this is Luke's. I picked everything up from him last night. This is his belt. This is an Inzer belt. Very similar to my Inaka one. Uh, it's actually sturdier than the Inaka one. I believe these are a bit pricier. So, this is allowed in competition. It's IPF approved. My Inaka belt is not IPF approved, but what's great is that this essentially 
feels exactly like my knockout belt, which is great. And then I have loose knee sleeves, SBD knee sleeves. Again, these are IPF approved. My Anaka ones are not, but they feel the exact same. I am very happy. This fits like, I don't know if you guys can see this shit. Like, look at me. I look like a fucking tank. Holy shit. I look like a beast. I look like I'm about to fucking fix your car or fucking pick up a goddamn school bus or some shit. I feel very secure. So anyways, now all we got to do is hit our weight, which we definitely will. And then I will tell you guys my numbers that I'm going to hit. We have three attempts and I'm feeling good. This, this made me a lot happier because this fits fucking sick. Anyways, I'm going to go do an hour of cardio now. Maybe I'll bring you there, get some time lapses. Let's go. All right, and just like that, we are here at the gym. Of course, no one is in here. My condo, guys, is, I mean, it's like the nicest building in all of Pickering, the tallest one too, probably one of the most expensive ones, yet no one here lifts, like, no one, no one, come on. I don't even work out here and I'm here. Anyways, with that said, guys, I could have driven to good life, driven, driven to good life, but we got the treadmill, probably gonna do about, I don't know, half an hour of walking, just burn some calories. I may even come again later today. My whole day today is just move, don't eat, lose water weight and then guys my condo here actually has a sauna which my buddy just showed me i'm gonna go there check it out see how it looks it should be dope just to further facilitate some water reduction also just spoke to kyle and luke and they were just kind of confirming like yeah you know this is normal tomorrow i may spit into a cup if i have to but i'm not worried guys uh, it's kind of fun too right it makes the vlog more of an adventure so with that let's get some time lapses and i'll see you in the sauna go Watch the good old LA Pulse video. Now I'm outside the sauna. Boom, boom, take a look. All to myself. Nice. This is my first time I've ever been here in the condo. I gotta start using this more often. So we have this timer, which uh, I thought I'd say let's go 20 minutes. There we go. You can hear it ticking. So let's see how hot this gets. I don't think I'm gonna vlog too much, but uh, who knows, maybe a little sauna chat. All right, about two minutes in here, it's just starting to get uh, toasty, that little guy. Do you pour water? You pour water on that, right? I don't want it to explode, so maybe I won't. But uh, anyways, I don't think I'm gonna keep the camera here because I'm sure it's not good for it. So I'll uh, check you guys in about 20 minutes, hopefully a lot sweatier, sweatier, sweatier. See you guys then. All right, guys, what is up? We are back home. Let's get it going rocking here with 9.52. About to go to bed right now, guys. Get a nice early start because tomorrow I'm waking up at 8 in the morning because we have to be there for 11 or just before 11, and it's almost a two-hour drive. I'm picking up to right around 8.30. And, guys, so you saw me last in the sauna. That went well. I mean, I sweat quite a bit. I don't think I would do it again. It was kind of painful, but, like, that was good. Check. Came home, showered, then went to Starbucks for about two hours, did some work. Uh, hunger throughout the day thank God has been very manageable like only now am I starting to get kind of like uncomfortable hungry after Starbucks came back went for a good like hour-long walk I really wanted to give it my all and I weighed myself guys so number one I weighed myself after the sauna after I showered I was down a pound so instead of 185.6 I was like 184.8 so about down a pound and then I just weighed myself right now I'm 183.6 so yes we are making fucking progress I'm 0.6 away from making it I need to be uh, the exact weight is like 182.98 so 183 and I'm 183.6. Again, I have not eaten a single thing. I haven't touched any liquid, no food, nothing. So by this logic or this momentum, I should be under the weight tomorrow morning, especially after I take a shit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, again, no liquids, no food until we weigh ourselves at 11 o'clock, but I'm feeling confident we got this, guys. It was just water weight, uh, and I'm not gonna let you down. Like, we're gonna make it happen. I trust God, I trust myself, I trust you guys. We're gonna make it happen. So I'm going to go to bed, hopefully get a good sleep. I'm hungry as fuck, I actually won't lie. <laughs> so hopefully this sleep is, you know, <laughs> doable. And then uh, all I'm thinking about is tomorrow, once I weigh in, getting these three bagel belts from Tim's, sausage, egg, cheese, you guys know them, tomato, lettuce, three of them, oh, with fucking like hot chocolate with some quick carbs and then some like gummy bears or something like that, you know? <laughs> this brings me back to my men's physique days. Bro, I haven't gone this long without food and water, I don't think like in a very long time, but anyways, no complaints. Thank you, God. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning and uh, yeah, just update you as we go. Good night and see you then. 
Good morning guys, what is going on? How are you doing? It is 9.19 in the morning. I'm literally about to head out. I know I look super Asian. I'll be completely honest, my sleep last night was not the best. I was very hungry. I woke up two times in the middle of the night and just rolled around for like half an hour, 40 minutes, maybe even an hour, just like Oh, fucking hungry, but that's okay. No coffee. Uh, I had like a sip of water in the middle of the night, and, like a sip this morning, just because I was getting a little dizzy. But yeah, no liquids, no coffee, nothing. I weighed myself this morning, guys, and as of right now, we are fucking good to go. I was 182.2, which is good. I need to be below 183 because the weight is 182.98. So. We're good to go. Uh, granted though, their scale may be a bit different. So by this logic, I am gonna continue losing weight uh, before I get there and weigh in in a few hours. I'd like to be around 181 or one in the 181s, which I think I will because I've only gone down like what, three pounds and I'm just gonna keep going. So yeah, all is good. Then I'm gonna eat with uh, Tere after I weigh in. My bags are all packed. I brought the drone, not for in there, but just Hamilton, that's where we're going. So the drone, uh, lunch, I brought snacks and stuff like that, pre-workout creatine. I got all of my stuff here, the weightlifting stuff, confirmed with the head management there of, you know, am I bringing all the right things? And so far everything seems good. So yeah, that's it guys. Anyways, let's go now see Tere and he's gonna bring his camera and actually he's gonna be vlogging on his camera so it will look a little bit different. But uh, again, when I'm competing, I'm not gonna be <laughs> vlogging. So see you guys when I'm with Tere. Let's do it. All right, guys, let's get it going. How are you doing? I'm here with Tere. Show him what's up, man. Show him. Woo! <laughs> let's go. The camera looks a little different because it's Tere's camera. Let's go, guys. We are two minutes out from our freaking location, guys. We're gonna arrive at 10.51. I'm supposed to be there for 11, so perfect timing. I've been low-key spitting in a cup over here. You know, nothing crazy, but I'm feeling good, guys. Thankfully, still not too hungry. So the plan is we get there for 11, we weigh in, we crush it, write down my numbers, my qualifying lifts, which I'll explain once I do it, and then Trey and I go eat. So we'll see you guys at this hotel. Let's go. Perfect. All right, guys, so we are here, Tere. Hold the camera down, you're making me look tiny, man. This guy's like 6'5". All right, guys, we're here outside the hotel. Fun fact, this is bringing back a lot of memories. Back when I competed in men's physique, we were at a hotel in Sudbury, so yeah, bringing back a lot of vibes. We're about to go inside, see what this looks like. You're probably gonna see a lot of jack powerlifters, so uh, let's go. Speak of timing, man. Hey, we're on time. We're on time, man. Yeah. How you feeling? Good, man, I'm fucking... I'm running it, we're good to go. I'm gonna take one last piss before the weigh-in, but we're gonna hit the weight, no question. Oh, of course. First one? Yeah, but he just saying let. Yep. We're gonna get in there like it's heavy, settle in with your normal lift off. So you'll have a lift off if you want it. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get a lift off. I, I, I feel that's a bit high. So first and foremost, we got the man Camden. Yeah, Camden. Yeah, I got the name. This guy's another power lifter. I fucking hate wearing these masks, man, but it is what it is. He's an 83 kg, except tell him your age, bro. 17. This guy's 17, bro, and he's a tank, man. So thankfully we're not competing together because he might smoke me. Anyways, I'm gonna weigh in now, guys. Here's the moment of truth. Time to get as light as possible. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh, dude. Wow. When you're good, I have my straps. You have them? Yeah. Show me. Let's get it going, guys. We just did our weigh-in. Yes, we're here at the hotel. Your boy made it. We're good to go. I was 180 pounds, and I had to be under 183. So all that sauna and spitting and all that shit, it worked. Let's go. Let's start with Tim's in a gas station. Oh, so I'll go to Tim's, go to the gas station, get a Gatorade. Candy, shit like that. Oh man, good thing. I like looked at the guy nice. I was just like, I like took off my mask too <laughs> yeah. and everything. So I was like, I'm gonna fuck. Yeah. Everything's gone. This guy could have kept his clothes on. Yeah, and I honestly, bro, I probably could have. <laughs> Got a little chilly bro, for no reason. God, God bless him, man. 180. All right, guys, so we just weighed ourselves. I came in, I don't know if you heard me, but 180 pounds. We are well good to go. I had to be under 183, so that is good. I stripped down, I made that happen. We put in our numbers, I'll explain that in a second because I'm cold and hungry as fuck, and we don't have very long, so show them Tim's. We're gonna go get some food. I know what I'm get getting, bagel belts and a hot chocolate. I've been dreaming of this the past like 20 hours, let's go. I don't know if people are joking when they say that or they're serious. Like, I never know if he's like, is he like chirping me or is he yeah. just like, <laughs> 
Oh man, I'm feeling good, man. It feels, guys, all that sauna, the weigh-in, the uh, the spitting, everything, like it makes sense. It, it feels well worth it, like fuck, bro. I was a little stressed yesterday. 185 to 180, the power of weigh-in cut. So, you know what, above anything, I just need some goddamn water. And then that's everything, thanks. All in one go. I think this one's yours. Thank you, yeah. sir. All right. All right, guys, first calories consumed in literally like 20 hours, 21 hours. We have a mocha, which is a half hot chocolate, half coffee, so I have a bit of caffeine as well as simple sugars. And y'all want to see? No, no bo both sausage, both egg, everything. No bacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's. So, the real baby we are consuming, motherfuck. I literally feel like I'm on like prep. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that shit. And now, normally, guys, I wouldn't have this, but I actually do need simple, quick sugars. So, fuck, this looks like a Simpsons one. Ready? 20 hours, bro. Wow. That's good, man. Oh, yeah. Out of 10. Like an 8. Honestly, like, it's good, but like, I'm so used to eating healthy food that like, it sounds weird, bro, but like, to be honest, I kinda just want like chicken and like, <laughs> broccoli and shit, I'm fucking weird, but no, this is good. Alright guys, and for the mother flipping grand finale, we got two fat ass bagel belts, guys, I've been dreaming of this for literally like, the whole day, 20 hours straight. I need a good amount of carbs, fats, and protein, so this has egg, uh, cheese, sausage, everything. Quite a bit, probably about like 1200 calories, 1100, so let's eat this, guys. Ate that donut real quick, got my mocha, and then let's go back to the show, because I'm competing and I'm squatting, actually very soon. Time lapse, go. All right, guys, I kind of feel like a fat ass right now. So first and foremost, the food was amazing. I got a bunch of goodies. I literally, like, I look like a typical American. I got, like, candies and fucking chocolate bars and all this shit. But it's for a reason. So you take a look. Number one, Gatorade. I need electrolytes. I'm going to be sipping on this. This is very important so I do not cramp up. Very important. That's what Luke said. Number two, I got some beef jerky. Now, this is because A, for protein, but B, it has a lot of salt. Again, electrolytes. I do not want to be cramping when I'm up there. I haven't eaten in a long time. Then I got some candies. I got two of these. I probably didn't need two, but this is just quick, simple carbs uh, just in between, uh, you know, my lifts. I just want something very quick for access. And then I got a Mars bar. Again, same idea, bit of fats. Will I eat all of this? I don't know, but I'm going to be here for like three and a half hours. So like, I'd rather have enough. And I also have a lunch that I brought like two sandwiches, you know, pretty basic. So anyways, let's go back to the show. I'm going to be warming up soon. A go. I feel good right now. I had two bagel belts. I had a little donut and a mocha. This is my water. What donut? Like a sugary strawberry, fucking like just quick, quick. Are you vlogging? This is my man, Luke. Yeah, I'm handling David today. He is literally the OG. Him yeah. and Kyle are the reason I'm here, and all the gear is his. So yeah, we're about to put it together. So yeah. it's gonna be exciting. This motherfucker may not look like crazy, crazy yeah, strong. Yeah, compared but, to you, well, he does look strong, but like no, bro, so, it's not. it's ridiculous. <laughs> like yeah. lower body. But, uh, I need balls, goddamn. Yo, I was, I was considering shaving my legs to you make should. weight. <laughs> to yeah, make weight. Should. But it wasn't that serious. So. Uh, water is like, we need to rehydrate. Like, look, five minutes, two minutes. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, five. Five. <laughs> water, that's good. All right, guys, so food is digesting. I think we're gonna start warming up in like 20 minutes or so. I'm feeling pretty good. Definitely don't want to eat more. I'm not gonna change into everything. The singlet, the belt, knee sleeves, wrap. So you're gonna see me look like a fucking Power Ranger Avenger in three, two, one. Go. And like that, tank fridge mode David, motherfucking activated. I gotta put on my uh, socks and then I'm going to now be sipping on the pre-workout guys. Same old ghost, uh, 220 milligrams of caffeine. We're gonna go in about 40 minutes, so I'm gonna start warming up literally right now. Good man, I'm just trying to warm up, feeling good, letting the food digest. 
I'm not trying to go crazy so I don't fucking project out, but uh, no, I feel good. So our opener was 3.9 and we fucking smoked it. That is, again, fairly light, but that is what allows us to qualify for nationals on my squad. So we're one third of the way there. Now next I have 4.15 and then 4.30 and I'm feeling pretty fucking good. That was three white lights in the first one. So like, that's like, that's fucking running. Like, just stay calm. No, not 430, okay. Like 425. That was 415. That was 415. Or you think I should order something? I can order something. I think you have one. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. YOLO. Fuck it. <laughs> Alright guys, we fucking killed it, the all three attempts, uh, it kind of happened so fast, but I'm really stuck, I'm not going to get too elated because we still do have bench and uh, deadlifts, but number one, our first attempt was 390, we got all three white lights, then I did 415, I got two white lights, so my depth was a little shaky, and that's because my grip wasn't that tight, so for the third one, which is 430, I fucking, I tightened that grip as fucking tight as I could, I sunk it, thanks to Luke, show, show Luke man, this guy helped out a ton man, giving me all these it. fucking tips. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, we got it. That was a fucking grinder, bro. My fucking face. But uh, yeah, I'm stoked. So now we have a 20 minute break till bench again. Staying calm because I still want to hit all these other lifts. Hopefully, nine for nine. Let's go. Alright guys, so bench, we're warming up. I have three attempts. First, I'm gonna start with 295. That goes well, which it will. 315, which you saw we smoked at the gym. That should go well. And then 330, so now you know. Let's go. So, attempt number one, 295, smoked. That is our second qualifying lift for nationals. We just have our deadlift left. Then, my second attempt, I did 315, smoked that, three white lights for both. Now, 330 at the gym. You guys saw me attempt 335, I didn't get it. I'm gonna go down five pounds, and I really think I can get this. It'll be a grinder 330, but like, we fucking got this, so. We 
fucking smoked the bench as well. The first attempt, this was 295, as I told you guys, 315, and then 330 we fucking got, which is a PR at the gym. You guys saw me attempt 335, I didn't get it. it was five pounds down, and I fucking smoked it like legit. PR, like it counted powerlifting, so I'm so grateful. And uh, now we've got deads in about uh, 10 minutes, so praying, staying humble, grateful. Let's try. No, let's do. 495, 515, 535. I should have hit 528. That was 522, but I'm happy I got it. 528, I might not have. It was a big gas. You guys saw me hit 525 at the gym, but keep in mind, this is like A, crazy qualifications. They're judging, and then B, I was a little gas, but I'm happy, man. I'll take it. Nine for nine. Dude. Yeah, bro, we fucking That's huge, man. Fucking it, man. Full hey, quads, too. Little, little cut. Like, you know, it's like, okay. We're good, man. That's a wrap. All right, guys, so I just talked to the judges, and out of eight guys, I came fourth, okay? So I almost made it on the podium, which is like, you know, top three guys. Uh, good for my first lift, my first meet overall. I think I could have gone up with my 522. I, I, underestimated, I underestimated myself a little bit. More like 528, maybe even 530, but keep in mind, guys, I was pretty gassed. It was the end of the, the lift, but I got all nine for nine. We're going to Nats in March. It's time to get super serious. Very happy, and again, fourth, not bad for my first meet. Anyways, that's it. Shout outs to Teray. We're going to get a photo, and I'll see you guys back home. And guys, that is it. Trey's battery is about to die on the camera. We killed it. I'm very grateful. Thank you so much for all of you guys who came out. I really just want to shut up, Siri. I want to thank you guys. I want to thank God more than anything. I want to thank myself. I, I feel like I like I'm not some like Oscar or some shit. <laughs> no, guys, but like for real, like trust yourself. I'm gonna wrap it up and tell you a little story at home. Actually, no, fuck it. I'll tell you guys right now. Luke and Kyle, my coaches, wanted me to go more conservative. My first opening lift, they wanted me to make it light. And I said, fuck it. I listened to my gut. I made my first opening lifts, my qualifying lifts, which is a lot riskier. And I fucking smoked them all. Every single thing I did, in fact, I wish I went up a little bit on deadlifts. So the moral of the story is do not underestimate yourself. Even if your coaches or people are telling you otherwise, listen to yourself. You know yourself best. And we fucking crushed it. And I'm so thankful I listened to my gut and I made that choice because I can go to bed easier now. So that's it, guys. We have a lot more work to do. A new, brand new fucking series coming. The Build 2.0. We're going to Nats. We have about three to four months to go. So I'll check you guys at Mucho. We're going to get a burrito. Peace. All right, guys. What is up? We're here at the one and only Mucho finishing off the night. It was a, quite a long car ride home. Hour and a half. Actually, about two hours. So it is close to six o'clock right now. Yeah, literally six o'clock on the dot. We got two burritos. Which one's mine? Which one's Therese? You get... Actually, they're pretty, they're pretty close, man. They loaded yours... I actually don't know. I'm I'm pretty sure this one's mine. I guess we're gonna tell by weight. Oh, oh, yeah, bro, bro, this guy's a fucking weight. So both got a uh, regular size burritos. We're gonna muck this, get up a time lapse, then I'm gonna go back to Starbucks, do some work, guys. We'll wrap up this vlog back at home with my camera. With that said, let's get a time lapse, and I'll see you back home. Guys, we are back home. Let's get it going, guys. Rocking here with, I always tell you the time just because it's easier for me to think. 11.05, gonna watch one episode of Tokyo Revengers, most likely, then get an amazing sleep because last night was not the best. Anyways, guys, what a fantastic 
fucking fantastic eventful day. I'm so glad I was able to document this with you yesterday, the highs, the lows, really the lows of yesterday of like not eating or drinking for like 20 hours. I don't think I've ever done that. Uh, like I said, the sleep was very rough, but it all fucking paid off. We came in at 180 pounds, easily under the weight. We crushed all our fucking lifts, nine out of nine lifts. Out of the whole group I was with, you know, all my friends, there's probably like eight of them there. I believe I was the only one who hit all of my lifts. So that is fantastic. Again, shout outs to Luke. He coached me the entire time while I was there. He helped set everything up. Shout outs to Tere, to Kyle, to everybody. You guys all did fucking fantastic. We all crushed it and we all qualified for Nats. I believe we all qualified for Nats. So if I decide to go in March, that is in Newfoundland, guys. And if I do, I'm going to be starting a brand new series, The Build 2.0. So anyways, guys, that is it. It is time for my ass to get to sleep. Just went to Starbucks, did some work, then went to McDonald's and got this little pack of like six little donuts. Won't even lie. I needed the carbs and fats. They were fantastic. They weren't, you know, crazy big and then had a bit of a protein shake and I'm good and I'm feeling good. Back to normal. Tomorrow I'm going to be eating clean, back to the normal high protein diet, etc, etc. And that's it. So thank you guys. Have an amazing day. I love you all. No plugs for this video. I just, I appreciate you. And this is the end of the build. This is the end. But don't you worry because I believe we're going to be starting a brand new series 2.0. We're going to be building our physiques, our strength, our numbers, our business, our mindset, our connection to God, everything 2.0. So thank you guys. Have an amazing day. I love you all. Ignore that goddamn train outside. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Much love. Till then. Peace.